Hey everybody, this is a quick review of the EG4 bright mount, ground mount solar unit. Um, I picked it up from uh, Signature Solar and I needed two of the units uh, just to do some temporary testing uh, and to set up some solar panels on it. I grabbed one in the box, went to open it up, got it all, started pulling all the parts out. Noticed there was a few things seemed to be missing. One happened to be the parts list and then the other thing happened to be instructions so no big deal open up the second box just to double check see if we had everything everything seemed to be there worked out pretty good i grabbed the parts list from the second box the second unit and then i went to signature solar's website and downloaded the insta installation instructions pretty straightforward they're right there so uh first off i know I'm, people are going to be bitching at me for having a Corvette as a uh, workbench, but hey, it works out great. Can't beat it. So, the other thing, they say you can do it one person. You absolutely can do it one person. Much easier to do it with two people. <clears throat> you can get your setup installed with one person, but once you start getting, you know, the two rail, set rail sections together and, and, and putting stuff together, it's really much easier to have a second person there for a second set of hands. I did it myself, but uh, it, you know, it'd be much easier. And, and let me tell you, I mean, I'm about as close to a chimp as you can get. So if I can do it, you can do it. You know, I'm, I know. the only other thing that would have was be opposable thumbs, but I, apparently they have opposable thumbs too. So, you know, I guess you learn something new every day. So installation went pretty smooth, pretty easy. Uh, I have not set up the solar panels on that yet. I'll do that later on and then probably the next day or two. The simple setup of it though, yeah, when you first get it, open your box, check it out. I mean, I don't know who was doing this from EG4, who was actually putting the stuff in the boxes, whatever employee it was. I don't know, maybe there was 10 or five and they had to leave. Uh, their kids may have had a, a baseball game or a recital or something. Or maybe Nancy in accounting said, hey, I want to agree to that date finally. And they just packed the stuff, boxed it up, and left. Uh, everything wasn't in the box. Uh, I'm sure if I called Signature Solar, they would be fantastic because they, they are really, really great to work with. I'm sure they would have actually just said, hey, hold on, I'm going to ship you out what you need. And at this point, I didn't need anything else. So I think I'm good. Um, if I have to, I'll grab it from the second box and I'll check with Signature Solar for replacing the parts. Uh, but other than that, it went super smooth. It's a simple, simple process. Very easy to do. You know, you can't build that for what it costs you, you know, to uh, get that from now. And it's customizable. Uh, if you were to try, you know, buy all the parts and the aluminum and do it yourself, it costs way more to do it. So, so far I'm pretty happy with it. I'll know, I'll know more once I start getting panels on it and if I have to install a second unit to see how I can mount them one behind the other or whatnot to see if it actually does uh, up here in the Northeast where it's, you know, sun can be a little bit uh, tricky. Uh, if it does what I need, uh, hopefully it'd be great. I mean, I just, you know, the people, they actually have it set up laying them flat. They don't even have them angled. Uh, but they used the mount, so it was, it was much easier for them to do a, like a roof mount uh, on a garage, or you know, if you want to do your own pergola thing with the mounted on top, you know, pretty much it's it's endless as to how much uh, uh, thinking and effort you want to put into it. But it's a great, great base to uh, to be able to to uh, start out with your mounting system. Uh, I'm gonna throw a link down in the bottom there of. The units that are on Signature Solar, and you can check them out. I know the companies have different ones, uh, you know, but sometimes they are less expensive. But you can only fit, say, you know, three or two solar panels on it. At this point, four seem to work out pretty good, uh, and hopefully, I'll be able to set it up at the four and put another four on the second unit, and hopefully, that will end up working great with my EG4 Mini Split Solar uh, Hybrid. Uh, mini split that does heat because I'm not sure if I can get away with using six panels. These are 240 watt panels. I don't know if I can get away with just using the six panels for the heat 
AC will work perfect, but I'm a little concerned about trying to do heat with uh, only six of those panels. But uh, that's it, and you know, hopefully if uh, if I get all the panels on in the next day or two, I'll have it all finished up and wrapped up. Thank you much. All right, so what we've got here is an EG4 right mount, ground mount system. Uh, I'm going to use these solar panels here to test out the EG4 12K mini split that I've already installed. Uh, that is in the garage already. So we're going to attempt this with just six panels. These are 240 watt panels and hopefully they will suffice. If they don't, we may have to add two more. We don't get a ton of sun up here in the Northeast. So we're going to start unpackaging and unloading this right mount mount. Uh, so far it looked pretty good coming out of the box. Unfortunately, there was some miscellaneous things just laying around. As you can see, uh, this had one nut missing. It was down further and was also missing the lock washer and lock washer, which is no big deal if it's not in the box. I got plenty of those. So. All right, back at it. So I'm not gonna make you sit through the whole boring part of assembling this. Uh, apparently it's a good thing I ordered two units because neither one came with insta installation instructions. I downloaded them from EG4, uh, uh, actually from uh, Signature Solar website. Uh, first box, like I mentioned earlier when I popped it open, was missing apparently some things. We're missing a bag of washers. Uh, and when I opened the second box just to see what the deal was, that had an actual uh, parts list with a checklist on it and employee checked off boxes of what was there and what was not. Uh, luckily, everything was in that box, it seems. This box, not so much. So, worst case is I'll basically grab some out of the other box if I have to. And then uh, I'll call Signature Solar and see if we can get something squared away later on. Uh, but other than that, we're just going to keep plugging away and so far Very 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 simple setup so far uh, <clears throat> Only thing I've had to use was a six millimeter uh, Allen wrench and a 13 millimeter sock uh, regular wrench and <clears throat> just put those two, uh, four legs together with the brackets and I'm going to continue on with the bracket installation uh, and then I'll show you once that's done. Okay, the basic lids are stands are actually set up and put in. Uh, just resting here. What I didn't do was I didn't tighten up the nuts on and bolts on the stands right there where there are adjustments. I'll do that all once it gets in place and once you know exactly where it's going to go when we get settled in. This is what they have and they call an adjustable leg. You're going to need a four millimeter Allen wrench here. That's going to loosen up these set screws so you can extend it out. It's going to come from EG4 all, all the way in uh, with the inside part all the way in the outside. And all I did was just lined it up to this last hole here and then tighten up the set screws. And then I'm going to install these back on the brackets here on the bottom. And we're going to keep moving. Uh, other than that, it's uh, pretty straightforward, easy install. All right, some more progress. So, the two rails, two long rails that you're going to have here, have a center splice unit. Uh, pretty easy to put in. One thing you want to do is make sure, I'm going to twist you around a little bit. You see that little rail there, the center piece there? Make sure that those lips there are equal distance on the top and bottom so that when you tighten it it holds it tight and straight other than that gives you nice long rails so you can so you can actually put it on the top and bottom and set your panels on it uh, so I'm gonna plug along a little bit more and I'll be back in a bit okay here we have it fully assembled uh, it's temporary mounting as I mentioned before so there is no cement footings or anything and uh, 
I still have to actually mount the panels into it. Uh, the one thing I do like about this particular setup is you can customize it pretty, pretty easy. And I didn't have to worry about any of those bolts or whatever things that were missing um, from the from the packaging. Uh, I have everything I need. It, it also has a bunch of extra stuff I'll show you in a bit that's still here for different types of mounting. Uh, and it gives you a lot of different options. Um, you can do custom you know setups if you want but you know by the time you buy your aluminum and you know weld and, and, and cut it and do all your brackets it's gonna cost a lot more than what you paid for this thing so uh, I'll, I'll keep plugging away probably next day or two and then uh, once I get panels mounted we'll see how it is welcome back to it yourself was like me who gluttons for punishment so been a bit, a bit of change since yesterday uh, I originally was going to set this thing up so that it would lie much more flat because uh, where it's going up north about three and a half hours from here it is uh, a much flatter spot where I'm going to be putting this they need to be a little bit more horizontal less vertical um, down here they need to be a little bit more vertical uh, so when I set it up yesterday, I set it up with the long rails on the system here and on the unit to lay flat so I could actually have them resting against the sides there and mount them that way. And then it wasn't going to work with how I wanted to set it up. So this morning I went ahead and just swapped them back to the way they're going to mount properly with the hardware that comes with it. Uh, <laughs> And I'll tell you, it took maybe 10 minutes tops for me to swap those rails back. It was so easy. It's so nice to have something that's easy to move around and, and, and make changes to. So, what I got here right now are those four panels. The other two panels here as well that are basically going to be used for testing of the split uh, unit, the mini split. And as I probably mentioned, I'm not sure if I did, but this is a temporary setup. Even the mini split is a temporary. This is all for testing. Uh, everything's going to go end up going up north at some point and getting uh, permanent installs. So when you see wires just kind of hanging around and things sort of just sitting around, uh, not permanently mounted or set up, that's why I'm not going to go through the head headache of doing it all permanently mounted just to rip it all apart in a couple months and uh, I'll have a look down this side so you can see the rails a little bit better how it's set up because you're not going to see the instructions show you just how you want to set it up but once you set up the long rails like this and then you have the mounting brackets inside there then you'll have all these brackets that come with it and the beauty thing about this kit is they actually give you four, uh, three different sets of different height uh, brackets depending on how tall, uh, thick-wise, your solar panels are. And makes it super easy. And then, of course, you have these center mounting hold downs here that doesn't matter how thick your panels are because they're adjustable. So they give you everything you need to mount four panels. Mine happen to be a bit less wide than some that you may be using. So I weren't, you know, wasn't able to fit any more than the four, and I end up with a little bit of extra space. If your panels happen to be a little bit less wide, you could probably fit five panels on here. So, you know, it, it's it's a pretty decent setup. Uh, this is uh, pretty much it for this video. I'm not going to do much more with showing the mini split itself. I'll do that in a whole nother video. Uh, you know, show all the connectors and everything with the mini split. And we'll start testing to see how that works with just the solar panels. Even though it is hooked up to the grid right now, uh, I want to see how it works just on solar. So thanks guys for watching and I hope this helped out anybody else who's going to be setting up one of these units.